Hey everyone, I thought I would take a moment and just demonstrate some new functionality and felt that I thought was pretty interesting when I stumbled across it. Um, for those of you that are familiar with Felt, you uh, are probably already aware that this is a very user-friendly uh, map viewer, um, but it's it's more than a map viewer. It has a lot of additional functionality and, and capabilities. And um, two of the ways that the team has expanded it lately, um, to my understanding, is through a greater uh, ingestion of other things like uh, web map services uh, and uh, feature services and that sort of thing. So I'm going to demonstrate essentially those two things today. We're going to add a custom base map coming from Esri and then we're going to add a uh, custom data set, I'm sorry, a feature data set coming from Esri as well. And so the scenario here will be that um, I'm going to attempt to design a map that holds um, essentially that really nice National Geographic cartographic style uh, and I want to show near real-time forest fires and event areas uh, on a map and the reason I'm doing this in felt is that I want to create a tool that I can then distribute uh, rapidly and widely and get folks to annotate it. Um, I'm not suggesting in this case that this would be necessarily uh, appropriate for an emergency preparedness type scenario, but um, I think it does do a good job of demonstrating some of the capabilities um, and just ease of use that we find in the Felt product. So with that, I'm going to get started with a few things. Um, I stumbled on this as I was reading through the nice documentation the Felt team has pulled together on how to pull in different base maps. And as I was reading through the documentation on working with um, maps, uh, you know, the cached image services um, hosted on um, ArcGIS Online, um, I started thinking about ways that maybe I could expand um, my own use of these uh, services. And so you'll see here, down here at the bottom, that Felt provides this nice uh, sample URL. And so, you know, just to get started, uh, if you're not already familiar with how to do this, um, I'm just going to go back to my map here. And, um, you know, one of the nice functionalities here is that I can add a different background. So I can do that from a URL here. I'm just going to paste that sample one in. You can see it's rendered here. And now I've got this nice imagery base map. So very cool, but there's a lot of stuff out there, right? So I was digging around a little bit and looking through some of the other rest services that esri provides um, i stumbled on this one which is the national geographic world map so i'm going to click on that we can read a little bit about it uh, you can see here it's a general reference map for informational and educational purposes um, and again developed by national geographic and esri it's just a really beautiful map so what I'm going to do here is, you'll note up here in the URL, we can find the name of the um, service. So it's just this block right here, National Geographic World Map. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that little snippet out here. And I'm going to go back to my felt map. And I should be able to modify this background. So I'm going to do that. Look at it here. And I'm going to go into my tile URL and replace world imagery now with the updated name of the map. And if all goes well, this should work. So let's try and see. Yeah, there it goes. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and resave that background. And don't panic if you see this. Um, it just means that at that map scale, the, um, the tiles don't exist. But if I uh, zoom out here, then you can see that what I have is a very nice uh, representation of that National Geographic style, right? So really cool. All right, so that's part one. Um, part two here is I'm going to then go on to uh, ArcGIS Online, and I'm going to find a hosted uh, feature data set that I want to work with. So this is a hosted layer that represents, as you can see here, wildfires that have been updated within the past seven days. Um, so really cool. Um, obviously a very popular data set as well. And so now what I want to do is try and add this on top of that really nice base map that I just added. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find this URL. I'm going to copy that out. I'm going to go back to my map. 
and it, this is an easy thing to miss um, on felt. There's this, you know, this great toolbar down here that's very easy and not very intimidating and you know probably got pretty familiar with these tools as you started working with felt for the first time but up here you've got even more right so if i click on the logo in the upper left hand corner i'll see that one of the options i have here is to add a file and if you do so you can click on this option here to add from a url and we're going to do that so paste that in here and I'll click Add Layer. And it's going to take a minute here. And... All right, so when that loads, now we've got our points and polygons from that data set loaded in. You can see them. Uh, for example, you can see these number of fires in the Los Angeles area. Uh, we're going to change the symbology just a bit to make it a little easier to see against that base map. So up here in the table of contents, I'm just going to click the style button. And I'm going to keep the simple style. That's fine. I'm just going to change this uh, to, say, a red color. Uh, maybe increase the size a little bit, make it stand out. Something like that. That seems to work pretty well. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the polygon area. So I want to change that to red, and maybe give it a little bit of an opacity. Something like that. And now let's see how this looks if I zoom out and scroll over to say, uh, let's see, let's check out an area here in New Mexico. So if I zoom in, for example, I'm still retaining all of the um, all the elements of the polygon, so all the attributes are still visible. And now I've got it draped on top of that very nice National Geographic style. So I can wrap things up, and again, then you can take advantage of some of these other cartographic, um, I guess, markers and things like that. So if you want to uh, distribute this out and have people mark it up or share thoughts or use this as an educational tool, that sort of thing, I think it provides a lot of utility. All right, so I'm going to stop there. Um, but again, just wanted to share a few of the... Uh, nice features that aren't uh, always necessarily uh, visible when working with felt for you know the first couple of times but um, this obviously greatly expands uh, the tools flexibility and uh, should be a lot of fun uh, for those of you that are looking for ways to uh, either inspire students or maybe work with community organizations or who knows whatever other uses you've thought of all right thanks we'll conclude things there